The following content is for entertainment and educational purposes only. It does not constitute means for diagnosis, healthcare advice, nor treatment. Make use of a qualified healthcare professional for such purposes. Items lower than 0.5 
are eliminated. So after knowing that, we can look at this and see that these are indeed less than 0.5, so they would be eliminated for the first factor on positive reappraisal, while these numbers that are less than 0.5 here would be eliminated for the second factor on negative reappraisal. So in keeping with what we discussed in lecture, remember that we were talking about, say, if we were to develop, say, an inventory for the pressure. And then the first item, we have a 0.5 or greater, which would be when I'm home, I tend to be all alone by myself. The second item, say, for example, my eating patterns have changed. So that one scored, say, for example, 0.7. Then we look at our third item and it says, I like squirrels. And that one will be 0.1. In that case, we would eliminate that item because that item is not representative of the variable that we're looking into to see if it actually contributes to the questionnaire. Awesome. So now that we know what DFA is, this is just an example of how you could interpret that kind of table. Um, you would want to address the kind, what items were retained, you know, how many of them were retained for the questionnaire. And you would also want to address which items comprise which dimension. So you can see those kind of first six statements, those consisted of the first dimension factor one, while the last six comprise factor two, you know, that second dimension. So you would want to address the items for each factor. And you'd also want to address the factor loadings, whether they're high enough to be retained and how they relate to the items themselves, the statements. 